Think you're made of clay And think about the things I've lost The things I gave away And when I'm in a certain mood I search the halls and look One night I found these magic words How's your Saturday? Because last night was your Friday, right? no sound. Can you hear me? It's almost like an oodoo. Oh, I don't know what to tell you. I need a technical person. I saw something today. I saw something today that um, some kind of a, a streaming app that you can stream, hi Steve, you can stream everything. Like, if I'm on Facebook Live, it streams to Twitch and all this stuff. Does anybody know about this? Because what I really would like to do is get this on YouTube also. I know, I know there's a way. I know it's really easy. Oh, good, you can hear me. Good. But does anyone want to intern? with me show me what the heck to do because I I I'm I get to a certain point and I go I don't know what to do and and I'm asking for help hi Amy anybody has it's it's I saw um 
Peppino D'Agostino today had something where it was linked to all these different applications, platforms. Is that the right word? Platform. So it's Friday night. Didn't get paid. Hey, Melanie Damore. Except I did have a very sweet Dave Tweedy in the house. How you doing? We had a fun time, didn't we, with that band? Um, thank you, Linda Siriano, for Linda put a, a tip in on PayPal. Chris Young. How's it going? Dan, hello, sir. Man, those lemon bars look awfully tasty. That's all I'm going to say. See, I know what everybody's eating because I watch it on Facebook because I'm on. Yeah, I'm on a lot. Whatever. I like it. I, I just found out that I just find things out. But I did find something tonight that I was really thrilled about. Got paid my half paycheck because of furlough. So you're on one week and then you're off the next week? Is that how it works? I found, I, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm like, when I go somewhere, like, ooh, they have a lip, ooh, lip balm, lip balm, lip balm. 100% pure cherry. Yeah, exactly. Didn't get paid. I'm like, how come I've never used, it was brand new. I was in, it was in my cupboard and I went, huh, I've never opened this one before. I opened it up and I was like, I love 100% pure products. Hello, Deanna Witkowski. Witkowski, I said it wrong. Fabulous piano player. So far we have quite a band on here tonight. Leslie Cole Cameron from, let's see who we have here. We have Point Richmond, Louisville, Kentucky, New York City. Danny, are you still in New York? Chris Young, not sure where you live. Dave Tweedy's in LA, Dan's in Napa. Melanie's in Oakland, St. Joe, Chicago, Benton Harbor, Fresno. And, oh, I know. Joanne Marsala died. She was a matriarch in this town. I loved her. So beautiful. So, um, like, really great cook. And her sons, Paul and Mike, and I, Mike and I were, are lockers were next to each other from eighth grade till we graduated and we were really close friends and um he died eight seven years ago and his son dominic looks exactly like he like when i first saw dom he was probably in eighth or ninth grade and he looked just like what Mike looked like in eighth grade. You know, I've people, my dad used to say that he'd say, wait till your friend's kids come, you know, come around and then you, you know, you do. And he was a total twin to his dad. <sighs> yeah. Aunt Joanne Marsala. Yeah, she was a good lady. 88, I think. Yep. But thanks you guys. Those crickets, aren't they great? I love my crickets. Mazatlan! John Todd's in Mazatlan and Nicole. Hi. I thought you were in L.A. I'm just going to, real quick, call Mama Grace, because I haven't talked to her in a couple hours. Just so you can check in with her. Mazatlan. I was in San, um, San Pancho and Sayulita and Mexico City in February and March. Hi, Jen. Hi, Mama. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Trying hey. to find you. There was a ginger on here that was dancing with all her kids, and I couldn't get her off. That damn ginger. Some gin, some gal gin, by the name of Ginger. She's probably having a good time. Yeah, they were. So are you on? I am on. Aren't these great? These are from Mexico. Mm -hmm. They're leather. I, I, There's two. What are you wearing? Let's see. Jenna Mamina is live now. Okay, I got you. You got me? Yep. I got you when there is nothing better in this world. Yep. So okay. you're all good? I'm all good. All right. Everyone says hello. Hello, everybody. Mama Grace. 
All right, honey. I love you. Love you too. Bye bye. And now I'm getting a text. Please tell people that Ginger, she's a wild one, that Ginger. She's dancing all over the place. I was listening to Faye Carol. Yeah, I saw that. I, ca I saw that earlier for a little bit. That was cool that they were doing that at Piedmont. I know. I love my Mama Grace. Diane Bond says, says sweet dreams, Mama. She's not going to bed yet. <laughs> Alicia, Alicia, my cherry, my cherry girl. Ooh, 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 ooh. See, usually, Alicia, in my morning time, I don't know, do you have someone sitting next to you that painted this? Let's see, can I do it tonight? I either match it with the nose or the eye or the lip. I just have art all over my house. So I can just pull it. But this is how I wake up every morning, Arturo Peel. Arturo, will you be on my show sometime? We could talk about whatever you want. I think the nose is a good place to. Anyway, this painting is by Elizabeth Kirian. I miss you, ladies. Make your earrings famous. Well, these are some of my jewelry I'm starting to sell, but I'm not selling these, and I'm not selling these, but I have so much stuff. We all have. We all have way too much stuff. But I'm happy that you're here, Arturo. New Orleans. We got New Orleans. Jim Falvey. At least you guys, I never remember where you are. Idaho? It is Idaho, isn't it? There's my girl Audrey. Where's Frida? Frida's over here. Frida's, Frida moved. Frida, she, Frida jumped off the chair. So tonight I'm super excited. Does anybody have anything? Are you drinking anything? I have my tea. Yeah. And I have. I, I had some wine. Jeanette and I had dinner tonight. Jeanette made me dinner. Thank you, Jeanette. It's really good cauliflower rice and mushrooms and some avocado and it was really good and saw a fabulous sunset tonight I need to put a new teeth a new tea, a bag in my tea so back to why I'm so excited well you know I'm always pretty excited about things go Lancers oh I know thank you Hi, Gina. Jada. So Arturo, Jada's here. Jada and Arturo, my two friends that I wanted to meet so bad when I first met Arturo and then Jada was moving to Santa Barbara. I go, you have to meet my friend Jada. You have to meet Arturo and then their buddies. And then Arturo moved to hot water with apple cider vinegar. Getting my trumpet out during COVID quarantine. Hope to put, an, put up a couple videos. Yeah. Chamomile tea. It's called Wild Thing. My mom. Oh, Ginger's Wild Thing. She's a wild girl. Well, tonight we're going to have another wild woman on this show. I guess it's a show now. People keep saying, I love your show. I love your show. I didn't mean for it to be a show. Well, I just, years ago when I started the 1111, I would do an 11 minute and 11 second interview with people. And you can't get the sound. Nobody can get the... Are you? Can you guys hear me? Is my volume not up? <gasps> can you hear me now? Because the volume was all the way down. Can you hear me now, Mama? It's very important that Mama Grace hears what's happening. You can hear me. Volume was fine. It was all the way down. Uh, this is, um, do you remember San Francisco designer Kara Uchi? Anybody? This is Kara's. So I'm getting, um, now it went down. The volume's all the way up. 
Can you guys hear me? Just, just, if I yell really loud, can you hear me? Hello, Lion. Deli. Vinny. Now it's lower. It was better before? How could it be better before? It's totally up right now. So it's it's well and it's working in Mexico. Yeah, John, next year try to come to San Pancho for the music festival. Last weekend in oh no, that's Jazz Fest. That's not happening. But OZ is going to do Jazz Fest. They're going to play music um, from Jazz Fest all weekend long. Hi, Serena. I would love for you to come on the show sometime. Would you do that, please? Eileen Globensky, hi. Hi, Lori. Oh, wow. People from all over the place, coast to coast. So now I'm getting another. I do have. Hi, Ruben. The, the virtual tip jar. I have a Venmo account. I have a PayPal account. I was told tonight to get a cash app, so I'm setting up for a cash app. And I have a Patreon account. So if you want to throw a couple dollars, if you love what's going on and want to... I, 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 get, I get messages here. Please do this and please do that and tell people about this. And my Venmo is at Jenna-Mamina. And my PayPal is... Jenna Sings or something like that. I'll post it. So, I need to make a phone call. Does everyone else have sound? Because she still doesn't. How about the volume on the side of your iPad? Can you turn the volume up? Gracie doesn't have sound. I don't know, Mama. I can't help you. If I were there... Okay, we're going to make a phone call. I'm going to call my dear sister. I call her Janelle Michelle Burdell, but it's really Janelle Burdell. It was a mistake because I was trying to call you earlier. Can you hear us, Mom? Now I can't hear you. What is going on? I can't hear you. What's up with the sound tonight, you guys? She's gone. Routed down, that's me. She's a... Hello? Hey! Hi, how are you? I'm fabulous. How are you? You, you sound great. You look great. I love your hair. That's a cool color. People are stopping in. That's I know. So Lots of people. People from all over. It. Yeah. Awesome. I'm so happy for you. This is so fun. It's so it's really fun, isn't it fun? I love I'm, you're there every, almost every night. I'm like, there's Janelle. Melanie's on tonight. Janelle, um, Deanna with Witkowski, do you know Deanna? She's a piano player. Well, I know her because she's passed through Pittsburgh because of Mary Lou Williams and all of that. So we haven't met yet, but I'm sure we will and play. And good people, fun. really good people. Yeah. So what kind of what's on your shirt? Rhythm. Is it? Rhythm game. That's, That's what it's about, right? Rhythm games. Uh, yes. Fortunate to have been on the vanguard of group drumming, as you know. Yeah many benefits and it's many benefits are really needed so like instant risk from anxiety and depression boosts your immune system wow oh wow so yeah. the time is now unfortunately of course it's all changing to online so that's the transition we're in yeah but, we're all in boxes now boxes inside of boxes inside of boxes yeah i love what you're doing i love this show I love that I stopped by the first time just to check in on you because you were so sick. And so many cool people were there. I told so you last night, I heard a Michael Walton, and all of a sudden you're like, wow, this person, that person, and 
Narda, and, and, Narda comes on every day. He's all, he stops know, in every day. You know, I mean, I, I feel connected to him now through this mystic way, you know. So I think it's a really cool opportunity that's opened up. And, you know, I was just telling a friend today, you're going to run with the fear and want to go back to the normal, or you're going to lean towards what you want to see happen and what, who you want to become. And, you know, I'm running towards that. And that's why I was so stoked to be here. I thought, Jenna's doing it. You know, people come through. I know that if I want to see Jenna and check on how she's feeling, I show oh, 11 11. That's a great time I'll, for me. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. And you're the, the weaver of the web. That's so cool. I'm, I'm just here. Little boxes on the hillside. That was Peter, Paul, and Mary. No, tiny, teeny, tiny, 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 ticky, tacky houses. Ticky, tacky right. houses? What's his right. name? Ding, 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 ding. What was his name? The, he played ukulele. With Who the long, long hair. I can't think of it. Who wrote that? We all know it. Ticky, tacky houses. They were in those houses. He built that. He wrote that song because in um, Daily City... San Francisco, out towards the airport. Right, exactly, exactly. Uh, Tiny Tim. Tiny, Tiny Tim. Tim wrote that song? Mm -hmm. You are kidding me. I didn't even Google that. I, I could that. be wrong, but yeah, Weaver of the Web. Thank you, Janelle. Yeah. Tarsi Jarvis, yeah, Tiny Tim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always like to say the web we weave, you know? We all weave, weave our web. And it's mystic. Like, look at how long we've known each other now. It's long amazing. Long time. Hi, you know? Luciano. <laughs> Ciao, Luciano. Sorry, I'm saying hi to people as I'm talking to you. Can I can I turn the camera and, and introduce you to everybody? Sure. Oh, okay. I thought I was. No, I'm no, sorry. no, no. This is, you guys, this is my really, 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 this is my sister, Janelle Burdell. <laughs> Why aren't you on? There you are. Am I on? You're on. You're right okay. next to me. You're sitting to my left. You're by the candle. I'm going to move the candle. Okay. So this is Janelle Burdell. And she is a fabulous drummer. Yeah, we're in little boxes. And she plays... I don't even... Just tell them what you do. Because cause I'll, I'll... You know... I don't want to be your bio person. Well... You're so cool. I, you know, um, I'm a drummer. I'm a professional drummer. Like, yeah, I play the big drums, the drum set. I make my living doing that. Uh, but I'm also a percussionist. And uh, so, you know, I've done a lot of that, like combo books for Broadway and different things like that. So, you know, I guess we're all percussionists in theory. But I like to say I'm a drummer because there's a certain funk to it. And that's how we met. I say, I see, I, I love, I love percussion, and I say she's a percussionist who can play drums. But oh, that's awesome. Because you just, you, you can, you, 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 you're a melodic player. There aren't too many people that play. If I like you and I could just do a gig together. Oh, you're so cool. I think you're so that cool. That would be so fun. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be super fun. And so, as I was telling you, you know, everyone, one of the things, of course, I worked on Planet Drum with Mickey Hart, so I got exposed to a lot of different instruments, and I was there for a few years, and building his e-rig, and working with his sample library, and things like that, um, on movies and films, and just introduced to another world of percussion there. And of course, uh... I was also in the band De Cuckoo prior to that, and you remember that band. Um, and that's where I met the Udu drum, right? The Udu drum, the clay drum from Nigeria. Let me grab one. Here's one, right? An Udu drum. And this is cool. It's a clay pot drum. Traditionally, of course, women carried the water in Nigeria, from Nigeria. So, And it's traditionally played by women. Right? And folklore says that someone dropped one and there's a second hole in it now. Mm. And that's really cool because it creates sort of a, let me see if I can tilt the thing down, uh, sort of a pitch change that makes it like a talking drum. Now think about that for women. That's incredible. Right. So the women in Nigeria were known as a secret society because they basically got together at the end of the day and told their, you know, 
shared their stories. Here's another one. Here's another one. And their songs and their troubles, you know? So I've launched a bunch of women's circles with the Udi Drums. I hope to do more um, online and different things. I have uh, some online stuff coming up. But uh, it's an amazing sound. Let's see if I can tilt this a little more. Can you hear it? Probably not. Can you guys hear the Udu? I can hear it here. I don't know what people can hear. Ask that Vince. Is that Vince on? He's yeah, Vinny's here. Okay, I saw that he was an Udu player. That's very rare. A lot of people are here. There's 27, 28 people here right now. Good. I promoted too. Did I know you, you did. I know. Yeah, there's some of your friends saying my Udu girl. So Janelle and I met through June and Jean Millington. We were we were with the Slam and Babes. Yeah. Back in. Actually, we got the first year. It was right after my. I was thinking about it today. I think it was right after my dad died in '90, and she was playing Michigan. Yep. We we're playing Michigan, so they. Uh, she booked, of course, as she does, a slew of gigs around it, rehearsals, and we worked really hard. And you know, it was a great band, and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> And, you know, we've been that's when we first that's that's when I first drove up to Ukiah oh right so do you remember when we played in Ukiah here's a crazy story do you remember when we played at that really cool house like it was a a, a club house in Ukiah in Ukiah I remember Ukiah I remember Casper yeah so and the key remember the key right, yes. right. well Ukiah where we played, my sister ended up owning it for like 20 years. You're so kidding. Yeah. So one day when Lisa goes, yeah, I'm buying this building by her house. And I walk up to the building. I'm like, I've been here. She goes, you were here when? I go, I was here with June Millington in 19, like 1990, 1989, 1990. 1990. Exactly. And then we played it in Casper. And then we played up at that other... Um, I think that's where the key thing happened, didn't it? Or was that at Casper? Casper was the key. We left We left the key at the room. or I left the key in the club. Oh, you left the key to the van in the club? And we went back to the house. Because yeah. we ended up leaving our gear at the club, which is something we rarely do, right? Right. And then and we so had to drive back to wherever we were staying. I don't even know where uh, we were staying. No. <laughs> And then, and then June wrote a song, and the the key. So that we were all about the key. After that, that was a fun band. Who, yeah, um, a lot of fun. The Washington well, Sisters. A lot of fun. They're so musical and they're so talented. They're so professional. So I love you know, you, you June, if you're lot. here, Jean, if you're here, I'm not sure if they're here or not, but Joy Jukes played. Um, Mimi Fox was in. The, I think did Mimi play with us at Michigan? No, Susie Shoot, Shooty, is that right, from Canada, sat in? I think she sat in. Mimi it was playing, though, because I got Mimi to wear make to wear lipstick. I don't, I've never played with Mimi Fox or June. She might have sat in, but... I think they, that was in San Francisco, but it was all around that same time, because I first met June in 19, 1988. Oh, wow. 87, 88. Yeah. Yeah, she was, it was really weird. I was, um, my tea bag. Um, I was, I saw this magazine of my sister's, and there was this photograph of June. And, uh -huh. and it was talking about how she wanted to start this school called IMA. Uh -huh. Yeah, IMA. 1986, 1987. And then, I was living at Live Oak Studio with Priscilla Gardner, uh -huh. and I was in my room, and there was a recording studio upstairs and a recording studio downstairs that my sister helped build. Oh, wow. That Lisa, Lisa, built, Lisa dug the ground to build the, the, the basement studio. They, they created that space. It wasn't even there. They lifted the house and built that space. And then Jim had a studio upstairs, and my bedroom was right at the top of the stairs where you would turn to go up to the studio. 
And when I first saw the photograph of June and Jean, I go, wow, they could be my sisters. I didn't know who they were, but they could be my sisters. So I'm in my bedroom one day, sitting on the bed reading or something, and all of a sudden, this woman walks upstairs, and I looked at her and I went, and it was June. And that's when we met. Hi, Beth. Hi, Tracy. Wow. That's when we met. And she and I said, I've read about you. She said, far out. I want to meet you. Come come by the house. And that's when they were living at the house in Oakland. And uh -huh. and then I started singing with her for her 40th birthday party at Ashkenaz. That was my first gig with June. Wow. And Lee and Marita were running around, and they were like, you know, three and five or something crazy like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, amazing. And then well, we... he's now worked on on my record, and you know it's been so crazy, cool being around them and and being a part of IMA now on the East Coast, which is just full blown coolness with the camps and full blown coolness. It's been really cool. So and now I'm mixing my record up there with an SSL. Yes, I'm doing it old school. I think the drums sound awesome the SSL, and since this is a drum record, all drums mostly, except for a couple of players, June's on it, Bagiti Kumalo, the bass player, oh. is on it, and uh, I'm on drums, and I'm on Udu, but the Udu's doing lots of cool things, like you've never heard it do, play melodies, and bass lines, and electronica, and it's a very cool record, so hopefully by the end of the year, or, or later this fall, I'll be starting to release some singles, and do it that way, but really, anyway, you're gonna one release them one at a time. What's that? You're gonna release them one at a time. Probably, you know. I mean, there's no real reason to. For me, just like I'm here, or just like I've done the hashtag thirty second dose of Udu, which is becoming more and more popular. It's about introducing people to this cool drum and magical sound. It's so healing because. You know, like I was telling June, like most drums, you hit the drum and the vibration of the membrane, the head, comes at you or the clave. If you're hitting the idiophone, the, the instrument itself, like claves, the vibration comes at you, right? You go, oh, drums, wow, you know, it's so cool. But with the Udu, it's so soft-spoken, but it's so mighty because it pulls you to it. It's ah. such a really awesome uh, dynamic of the Udu drum the, uh, for, and a really important factor that we need right now in learning to listen differently in the world. It's a voice. What's that? It it's is a, a voice. voice. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And it plays a lot of melodies. It has a lot of range and it's been a lot of fun. I think you're going to enjoy the the project. It's been fun. And for me, getting to come on here has been a gas because I just get to share this cool sound with more people. And the more people that know about it, then, you know, can enjoy it and listen for it. What's your what's your hashtag on, you said the Udu? I, I missed oh, what you said. You know, it's funny because I was talking to a friend about this today. In fact, oh, I didn't tell you this. There's a paper that wants to talk to me because it's become really popular you know musicians are all doing different ways of connecting right now sure. we're experimenting with you know even the drum circle we've been collaborating online trying to uh, devise new ways of doing this work because it's so needed right now you know with the alienation and aloneness and depression and all that setting in so how to get people moving and being just in the presence of each other you know um so, uh, what was I saying about that? We were talking about that with the Udu. Oh, I decided after a week after this quarantine thing kicked in, you know, I ran the gamut of my own emotions, dealing with people with anxiety and depression and I work with near sight suicidal clients with great success. You don't want to lead them down the wrong path. Or, you know, I sort of wanted to explore within myself how I felt about it all and how know what was I really thinking and feeling and I was being swayed by a lot of things so I took some time off and, and I came out with a little way of sharing music and giving people a sonic sound meditation and I made it true I call it hashtag 30 three zero 
30 second, 30 second dose of Udu. Hashtag 30 second dose of Udu. Okay. You do. So it's S E C O N D D O S E U D U. And that's after the number 30. And that, that has become a thing. Like people are listening to it. And I, I talk them through a short meditation on how to use this sound. Cool. And really, it's just very captivating. And so anyway, and I put up, a, like you said, a PayPal link and blah, blah, blah. And I mentioned, I'm, of course, dealing with paying for storage, uh, which is my rent right now. The biggest factor in my rent is protecting my drums. And boy, the support I got has been overwhelming. Good. And more importantly, the testimonials about how they're so moved and how it's helped them to pivot and pivot step, which is exactly what I was hoping would happen. You know, just to change your focus a little bit during the day could take you down a whole different avenue. But if you start keep dwelling on what is, dwelling on what is, that's what's so great about the arts, right? You get in your right brain and you're not thinking about it. Can can I ask you how do you how many udus do you have? Wow. Well, I just I just got inherited some more. A friend of mine uh, who used to was trying to start some doing udu circles and did some grief work with them uh, fell ill, and so I've just taken another fifteen. I probably have thirty on the east coast, yeah. and I probably have about fifteen on the west coast. Wow. And I probably have about 20, 25 djembes on each coast. Remember, I do group drumming. Sure. And then, of course, I have my professional drums. Of and course. my drum trunks. And it's just drums, drums, drums. <laughs> Vinny, Vinny said he made his udu from a gourd. Oh, wow. Okay, like, a, like an ipu, like a Hawaiian. And then Jim Hawaiian. said he has a Hawaiian double gourd drum. Yeah, 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 exactly. Well, every think about it in gourds or, or uh, any sort of a, a carrier of water, gatam in India, you know, every culture has a way to carry water. Mm -hmm. And so the gourd, of course, uh, the ipu is an amazing instrument in the Hawaiian culture um, in ceremony and stuff like that. That was one of my first gigs. Did you know that? No. I played a Polynesian show. That was like my mm -hmm. first gig. I was 17. And it was a great one. A great one. And I still connected to them and have played with them over the past couple of years. I love the culture. I love the music. Yeah. love the rhythms. I love the rhythm and the dance. I just can't say enough about it. And do you, are they, do you name them? Do you know, like, do you, like, like you go, I'm going to pick this one up today or I'm going to pick, because they have different sounds, I imagine. Yeah, they sure do. Well, he's the sculptor Frank Giorgini who designed them. The handmade ones are amazing. They're in MoMA and lots of places. Very cool. I have a few of those. I'm, I'm blessed to have a few of those. But most of these are designed, he designed for LP percussion. And the numbers I, that I shared with you are mostly LP percussion. And I have a variety on the record, but most of them are LP percussion. And um, they all sound differently. I like to mix them up and just see what happens a lot. <laughs> cool. Can you play for us? Sure. You can yeah. hear. I think. Sure. Can you guys hear her? You can hear. I I heard it. I mean, I I've, I'm recording you. I think pretty. Okay. And with my high tech phone. Let me see if I can get this to. Uh... I don't know if I can. They did hear it? Is that what they said? Vinny, can you hear it? Jim, can you hear this? I'm not playing right now. Wait no, I know, but when you... Oh, yeah, they can hear you. Okay. I'm like, yeah, they can hear you. Of course. Oh, Wait, my friend Beth. Hi, Beth. Hi, Billy. 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 Love is made for Beth and... Love is made for Beth and... Love is made for Beth and Billy. Yes, they can hear you. Okay, now the other cool thing about the Udu that I'll share with you and with everybody is, first of all, I know a lot about the Udu, and I'm one of the only women who really knows as much as I do, and I, I feel very fortunate um, to be able to share it with you guys tonight, because there's so little been communicated about this amazing sound, 
And one of the things is traditionally played by women, but I've been told by these women, a woman who was in this secret society of women that played the Udu. And of course, when the missionaries came, they took the Udus away from them. And they've used them in Christian services now. They've brought them back, right? So we've lost all the traditional mm -hmm. stuff, which is why I'm putting together circles and things and trying to make new rhythms. Because it's a different day and age, too. But one of the things they said, Jenna, and this is what I'm going to invite you to, because you're so great at improv, the Udu was designed for the women's, women's voice. Period. Oh, I hear that. No, I, I mean, that's why I said it's, it is its voice. I need to interrupt you really quickly. Deanna, um, Deanna just said, Janelle Burdell, I'm coming to the Berg in August to start in the Ph.D. Jazz Studies program at Pitt. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so happy for her. She's awesome. Everybody she, loves her here. They can't wait for her to come back. I can't wait for her to come back. I'm going to meet her, have coffee. Okay. I got to come we, hang out in the Berg. Can we hear this? No, we can't see it though. We want to be able to see it because it's such a cool looking instrument. I'm afraid this TV's gonna fall. Still not good. Hmm. Can I turn this? Or just turn me. Yeah, let me do this for a minute. And now it's like, she's got all this stuff going on over there. I said, I said, what are you going to be watching? Well, I have three different things going on here. Well, I, I didn't really know what would work, you know, to be able to, and this is the problem, to be able to show you the instrument. So, uh, Yeah, one of these days I'll buy a tripod, but it's still fun. That's the real fun of it all. It well, is. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Okay. Do we have any? How do I lose you? Okay, we have a little Udu on my end. Right? Mm hmm. Okay. Let me see. We'll do something now. Just hold it in place with the top hand. It sounds really cool to me. I can hear it. I'm sure they can hear it. Think... Awesome. Well, it was hard holding it up, but check it out. Uh, Udu Girl has some solo stuff on Spotify. You can check it out. And I'll be coming out with this full-length CD, so find me online and get involved. The Udu is cool. The Udu is in. And I say America needs Udu Girl. America needs... every. The world needs Udu Girl. Yeah, we need to have more people listening in a different way. And this this beautiful sound, uh, I've stopped, literally, I've stopped open mics that were clanging bar drinks, making crushed ice drinks. And all of a sudden, one drop, and the whole house was like quiet. Sure. So, My you know, that's something that we're hungry for, this silence, and here we are in it with each other. Oh, yeah. I'm a, I'm a big, I'm all about this space. A friend of mine, Beth, just said you can tell she's very happy playing it. Yes. <laughs> you have a lot of joy. All the time you have a lot of joy, but then when you're playing, she's she's really fun to watch and to be on stage with for that reason. Well, thanks for listening, guys. I, I would love to do a workshop. When Would we do it? Would you do them virtually, do you think, or a circle, or would you, we do it? I have no idea at this point. It's all just going to be like, let's see, and make it up. And Melanie and I have been talking about it for years, doing an Udu and stick workshop and vocal. That would be awesome. And, um, you know, it, it, there's a lot of potential with the Udu. Of course, I'd love to get involved with Carolyn Brandy's um, sure. drum. I mean, that would be incredible. But again, it's really just introducing people to the drum and also gaining more support with LP to say, Hey, we need to get these drums into women's hands and have them playing again. Yes. 
So that's what I would really love to see. Besides drum set, I love the fact that more women are playing drum set now. I'm crazy about it. Yeah, there's some. I've I've played with a couple of it. Well, around the country and then in Mexico and yes, but definitely I want to be. I think you could do an Udu um, workshop online because we don't all have to hear each other. We could just be playing our own Udu. Exactly. You know, I've devised an online mm -hmm. Udu course, and I've just I'm not exactly done, but I've got a lot of it done. And actually, as you'll find out in the hashtag Thirty Second Dose of Udu. I've, other than today, where I failed miserably trying to deliver <laughs> the video and the uh, sound, the amazing thing is that the iPhone does record the very well. And I sort of been working very carefully to capture a, a, a serious, uh, deep sound of the Udu. Because to me, the, the Udu's magic, yeah, you can fly and you can play fast, but the the voodoo's magic lies in how it hits your root, your stomach, your low, the low end. And to capture that and to be able to put that across, is I'm finding it very, like, a lot easier to do with the phone, ironically. So, I mean, the amazing thing is that this time that we're in is affording us opportunities to explore new things. I never would have thought that. I would have used a high-end mic, and not to say I won't still... But I did something pretty cool with just the phone, and I thought, wow, you know, that's really where it's at right now. Everybody just experimenting oh, and figuring out what works best, and so thank you for that. You're welcome. Carolyn Brandy's here. Hi, Carolyn oh, Brandy. Carolyn. And, oh, my gosh. I have so much respect for her. Carolyn and I were neighbors for many years. Oh, no way. That's yeah. so cool. We lived on the same property in my first place, 12, 15 Carlton and then 1217 Carlton and she oh, wow. was I was in the front house and she was in the back and we were just taught we, we were saying she was just saying she wants to 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 connect with you and then like 30 seconds later she showed up oh wow that's awesome yeah, yeah. we definitely have to connect Carolyn I've you know she's been yeah. there were very few women playing and getting exposure for it when I started out. So, and one of them, you know, a, a huge, besides Terry Lynn Carrington and Cindy Blackman yep. and Sheila E., there was, you know, Barbara Borden and Carolyn Brandy of a band called Alive. Alive. And, and they were, I, I think, I'm Suzanne pretty sure and... they were actually on the cover of Modern Drummer. Carolyn, I mean, if I'm wrong, but I remember seeing it as a kid. And it, 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 of course, it captures your attention because you're looking for someone who looks like you. you know? Well, that's how when I saw June, when I first saw June walking up the stairs, I went, oh, my sister, and then Jean. I'm like, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah. and Carolyn, yeah, of course, of course. And you basically, when I was 19, it wasn't until I was 21 that I really found out about June. And that just opened up, of course, a whole nother world. I kept thinking, why doesn't anybody, why aren't we talking about Fanny? Why aren't we talking about these women and these drummers and Alice DeBure? And, and it took many years. So I'm really stoked that they're getting their due. They have a great documentary coming out this year. It's going to be fun. And she might be on your show, right? Didn't I see that? Today? June? Yeah. Oh, yeah. June, Carolyn, you want to be on the show? Melanie awesome. was on the other night. Anytime, ladies. Ladies Amazing. on the stage. Yep. Amazing. Well, I'll tell you what, Carolyn, it's a date, because as soon as we're out of somewhat quarantine, uh, besides mixing this record, which I was on my way to IMA when I was quarantined in Pittsburgh, I was staying at a friend's house. Mrs. Hoover. You can see as a bass player, there's a telescope in my room and a guitar and a big, tall, green, upright bass. And... Um, but I'm driving out west and going to have to deal with my storage out there, just like I told you. So it's a different day, and we have to think differently and move differently, and I'm up for it. Yeah, I'm up for it. Let's let's hang out, Carolyn. Because she just said, Carolyn just said, we were both in our houses practicing, practicing constantly. Yeah, and then I moved next door. When Agate moved out, then I moved next door in the back. And that, yeah, we had a good time. Back in our our landlord were Mr. and Mrs. Hoover, Mary and Bill Hoover, and Cyric was just a little baby boy, and now Cyric is living. Where's Cyric, Carolyn? 
I know he... Uh, I know this because we have friends on Facebook, but you know how... Oh, Carolyn's going, Janelle! Janelle! She's yelling, Janelle! Yeah. It's, 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 it's happening. This is why I do 11-11 with Jenna because I'm all about connecting people. And I know, you know, it's, it's one of those things where I think about Carolyn, but I haven't seen you in... I think the last time I saw Carolyn was at Ron Stallings Memorial, and that was eight, ten, ten plus years ago. Wow. Yeah. So. Yeah, time flies with Carolyn. It's been too long. Here we are. We're still here. Carolyn said we're old, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> but we're here. We're still here. We're not. I'm not going. I'm not planning on going anywhere. But you know, you never know. So we're here. It's, and... about the number. it's not about the number, and Carolyn knows this. It's about the joy. Oh, yeah. And, you know, that's key. And, the, and my new, I found this. She met, okay, Melanie met Brandy with Alive in 1981. Wow. Yeah, and I first moved in there in 86. Lisa was already living in that house on, on Carlton Street. I still drive by there sometimes and go, Mm, Carlton Street, that's fun. Well, I'll tell you a funny story, and Carolyn may remember this. She may not, because she didn't do the drive, but Barbara sure did. I was 19, I was playing with Vicky Genfeng, a monster, and that's how I met June, the web we weave, right? But I was 19, and I needed work, part-time work, so uh, our manager at the time, we were working in Ithaca, New York, the band lived in Ithaca, uh, said, hey, you can make 50 bucks if you go pick up this band from a festival and drive the, the drummer want to put the drums in your van to drive it to New York City where their next gig is. And I was like, sure. Okay, I'll take you the gig. Sure. It was it was a lie. <laughs> so it was Barbara Borden was going to load it. They loaded the drums and, and Carolyn and they Barbara was going to drive down with me um, to New York City. They were doing a gig, up, probably at the Blue Note or somewhere, you know, groovy, because they were so great. Um, but the thing is, is I drove into a women's festival, and I had never been in a women's festival before. So it was an eye-opening ex opening experience, and then I met, like, idols of mine, you sure. know, people that I just couldn't even believe from meeting and getting to hang out, and then, of course, getting to play with them in become friends with them later in the Bay Area, living in the Bay Area for 12 years. So did you meet it's Carolyn incredible. on that tour, on that gig? Only briefly to load her contest, and I bet you she doesn't remember. She me. just asked, she goes, that she goes, that's how we met, question mark. So, yeah, you know, that's, yeah. but, yeah. but what no, an inspiration I, she was for you. I think I dropped Barbara Borden off at Eddie Gomez, the bass player's house, to stay, I think. You know, you remember these things when oh, it's... Oh, I know. It's crazy. Right? Yeah. Really incredible. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so that was really cool. And it's so for me, it's really great to be involved with MA and now have a whole younger generation. Like, I have a pretty far reach in both directions, knowing, you know, the, the, the legends and the ones who were bushwhacking and the elders, right? And then also knowing so many having trained 400 Udu girls for after teaching 10 years at IMA rock and roll camps, you know, teach girls. So, so it's really cool to see the girls starting to get their due more and more. Oh, yeah. So it was, yeah, it was New York City. Carolyn's asking it. But you you drove there, there her from where to New York City? The middle of upstate New York, some festival. I don't know what women's festival might have been there. Do you remember, Carolyn? <laughs> I don't know. It, it, there were a lot more festivals in that time, you know? Yeah. 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 But it's a fun story to relay. Stories are everything, right? Yeah. We have a lot of good stories. Had a lot of great times at both IMA West and East. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. What an incredible, incredible uh, institution they've built. Of course, of course, of a state-of-the-art state uh, studio over on the East Coast now. It's incredible. Unbelievable. Yeah, June's doing it. Yeah, June and, yeah. and they have a new dog. No, actually, I think their neighbor, Emily Lichter, mm -hmm. and, of course, the manager of Lake Street Dive, right. and she's 
on the advisory board. I think she got the puppy. Okay. I think okay. Hers. So Ami and and their dog. Okay, they're just buddies. They're like sisters. Yeah. Like sisters. They're really cute. I love Ami. Great. Yeah. She's an incredible animal, and I'm blessed to have known her. So how people so people can get a hold of you on Facebook. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I'm under Udu Girl YouTube. Udu Girl. Uh, that's U D U G I R L. Um, Facebook. I have a, a small following on Rhythm Games, but Janelle Brudel. My name rhymes. You're right. My mother <laughs> did that. My mother and father, rest in peace. Yeah, it rhymes. So a few people have added my middle name, making it Michelle. Oh, I did. I've been doing that since the day I met you. Yeah, Janelle Michelle Burdell, Janelle Michelle Burdell, Janelle, Janelle, Janelle Michelle Burdell. It's musical before I knew I was musical. Oh, you were born that way. Yeah, she is bad. She's a bad girl. Well, but Burdell was not Italian. It was Baradelli at Ellis Island. Baradelli? Yes. But Burdell was easier to spell, right? Burdell. See? You know what I mean? It was swallowed enough that that probably what they heard. Yep. My uncle was Ignacio, but they couldn't uh, say it, so they said, just call him Joe. <laughs> just call him Joe. He went from Ignacio Mamina to Joe. Joe. Yep. Oh, gosh. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Well, hi, Mama Grace. It's, I hope to meet you someday. You're, you're more than welcome here anytime in Michigan, and... When I'm in California, you're more than... Anywhere I am, Janelle, you're always welcome, and I really do want to play with you sometime, for sure. Let's make it that. And I'm like, right now is the turning point for all of us, and I just won't... There's no time to wait anymore, is the way I feel about it. Can't wait for perfection. That's why I started doing this the way I'm doing it, because I... People said, oh, you're going to need editing software, and you're going to need this, and you're going to need microphones, and you're going to need that, and I'm like... I'm not going to do it then. And then one night I went, wait a second, I have my phone and my iPad and I'm just going to sit here and hold it and my hand will cramp up until I finally get a, but you know, if I get a tripod, it's going to be hard. I'm going to always have to like sit there and it would be easier. You were just texting with Lisa a couple of days ago. Oh, how cool. That's so neat. We're all connected. We're so, that's why we're here. 11, 11, every morning, a.m., every 11 11 p.m eastern standard time and we decided the other night that it will always be eastern standard time so if i'm in california that means it's at 8 8 11 and if i'm in hawaii it's at 6 11 figure it out but every day every night and you carolyn please come on sometime i have some i always have spaces because i'm always going to be here so Janelle, come back and play some more Udu for us, and I love that. I love you, and I'm, I'm just this just make makes my night. Me too, Jenna. It's great to reconnect with you in this very special way, and get to share stories and love, and also, you know, one of the cool things about this eleven eleven space, like with Carolyn, you know, that's what's so dynamic about it is just when you get on, all of a sudden you're hanging out with all your friends. Oh, I know. <laughs> And friends, you I, I haven't seen Carol, like I said, 12, 10, some years. And Melanie's here, and I mean, we're here to support each other, and, you know, we all, we all have the, we're all, we all have the bandwidth to do that right now. We Amazing. really do. Amazing times to be alive, I got to say. It's incredible. Yeah. I watched a beautiful sunset tonight. I think I posted it. If I didn't, I will. Melanie, it was great sundown. I, I was looking out my window going, yeah, it's kind of pretty. I'd been out earlier, and it was kind of foggy. And then I went, yeah, it's snowing out. I don't really want to go out. And then all of a sudden, I saw this orange, and I thought, if I don't go out there right now, and I ran out there and saw the most beautiful sunset. People were, you know, kind of acknowledging each other just how crazy beautiful it was and came back and had dinner and then waited for this to happen. I mean, I, I don't wait. I do stuff before I get done, you know, before I'm here. But... Just to connect with, with everybody that's here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And people keep, they float in and out. You know, there's it's it's it, it was down to 10 people. Now it's back up to 16 people. So right. it's Friday night. We're Friday night. Didn't get paid. <laughs> well, it's just because that's the song. 
Because Facebook won't get, I won't get in trouble for doing it that way. Because that's not the song, right? They, they've taken me off a few times. But, you know, tonight it was all you, all Udu Girl, and Mama Grace, and... Ah! I love this. Thank you. Thank you, Janelle. Thank you so much. We'll talk again soon. I hope so. Anytime. I'm around. Thanks. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks, you guys. That's what happens here. Um, and then I get all these messages. Yeah. Hey. The weird part. Are you still on? I'm still on. Oh. <laughs> I'll call you after. Oh, or come, jump on the others. Jump on and we can we can talk there. But I'll okay. I'll, I'll talk to you after. See, sometimes you can't hang out. Oh, there it is. I love you too, Carolyn. We love you, we love you, we love you. On that note, it's 12-12. What a perfect way to end at 11-11 to 12-12. See you tomorrow morning. 11-11. Pop on, load in. Love hard. Good night, Mama. I love you.